Hello guys, it's your boy Mamma Mia Mario and today I'm doing some cooking. Um my my mother has left for work. She said the only things I should not do is cook and make brownie in a mug and I'm making brownie in a mug today, so let's just get to it. So we need a we need a, a mug, obviously. I mean it's not called, it's called brownie in a mug for a reason, you know. So you gotta get the mug and then what you gotta do is you gotta go and get the butter. So you need some, uh, and you need a teaspoon of butter. And then you just put it in there, put it in the microwave. And then you just gotta wait for it to, um, you know, uh, what's the word? Why am I holding this with my bare hands? Yeah, what you gotta do is you gotta put it in for like 30 seconds or whatever. Um, and then you gotta put in some sugar or whatever. Uh, then you, you just gotta wait until it's melted. And basically, while we wait for that, I guess we can just get out some um, sugar. Okay, and what you need is brown sugar and caster sugar. Anyway, yeah, um, put that there. I just wait for this thing to, you know, bubble up. What is that sound? There's a very strange sound coming from it. Skip it about You've got to put that in there. You gotta get your brown sugar, you gotta get a teaspoon of that, you know. Amazing. Yeah, the reason my mum said I shouldn't make these is because apparently they have too much calories. I told her Mario doesn't get fat. Mix it until it looks like that. <laughs> I know that doesn't look pleasant, but you're just gonna have to deal with it. Um, then you gotta go down. You gotta get the vanilla extract. You gotta get half a teaspoon of that. That was a bit too much, but okay. Um, then what you wanna do, this isn't actually in the recipe, but it's because I'm Mario, I need it. Yeah, if you try to do this at home, do not add the red icing because I don't think it's not in the recipe. I'm just. Ugh! It got in my eye. Okay, um. I'm gonna do this further away so you can actually see my beautiful Mario face. Um. After you add all those ingredients, it should be like a nice, creamy, liquidy, um. brown substance. Then what you want to do is you want to, let's see, you want to get, pour a little bit of table salt, then you've got to get a pinch of it, just got to, you know, put it in there, very nice, and you've got to mix it, it still looks like a weird kind of syrup thing, you know, who cares, um, now what do, now what do we need, I forgot. Oh yes, this is the difficult part. We need an egg yolk. Not like any of the egg whites, because in our house we'll probably die. I mean, I don't know, they never told us. But um, we need to get, I'll be back with an egg. Okay, so I'm back with the egg, if any sense. Um, we got an egg here, we got to crack it, and we got to figure out how to separate the white from the yolk. The, the, the yolk. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna, get, I'm gonna get a bowl here. Okay, let's just... Oh no. Why can't I not crack eggs? I used to be an expert at cracking eggs, but now I just can't. I'm too scared that like the shell will get in, in, in there, so... Okay, don't let the yolk out. Just let the big gooey bit out. Okay, perfect. You seem to be doing well. Let's go let it all out. Oh, that's so disgusting. 
It looks like snow. That is not something I want to think about when I'm making chocolate cookie brownies. In a mug. It's in a mug as well. Oh my god, guys. Why do we need just an egg yolk? It doesn't make any sense to me. Like, is the white, is the white, is the, is the white of the egg the poisonous bit that gives you sal salmonella? Because, to be honest, we are shoving this in a, in a microwave and I'm pretty sure that that's not going to cook the whites properly. Now, okay, I think I've done good enough. I mean, there is still a bit of whites in there, but, you know, it doesn't really matter. You can just put that in and maybe throw away the egg. You can mix this in. we got to um, put in some flour and then that'll be the end of the... Well, of course, we're going to need to put in the, um, you know, the... We're going to need to put in the, what's it called? The, the chalky chips. The chalky chips, everyone. We're going to need to get those chalky chips. This does not look right. <clears throat> uh, it's it's just I made this before and I think it looks a bit too liquidy right now. It's like this weird brown liquid and it looks like it's got like some weird sugars in it. It's like bubbling and everything. It's so weird. But you know, let's just not think about that and just put in the put in the flour. Hopefully, it'll make it look better. Boop. No, I actually don't remember how much flour you're meant to put in. We just. Estimate, I guess. I'll mix it right now, and if I need, if I think I need more, I'll put in more. I mean, that's not looking half bad. It looks like biscoff. It looks like biscoff spread right now, but it's just a bit more liquidy. Um, I think I'm gonna put in a bit more flour because I think that's what it needs. Still looking like biscoff spread. The colour hasn't changed at all. I'll show it to you guys. Look, tasty. I don't know if I should add more flour or not. I mean, I looked at the recipe and I'm just wondering: did it say three teaspoons of flour or four? I'll put in four for good measure because, you know. And then at the end of the video, we're gonna we're gonna test it out, and it's gonna be <laughs> epic. You know what, guys? Let's have some fun. I've got some Nutella here. Just gonna stick that in. Gonna just mix that around. The only reason my mum told me to not make these is because they have way too much calories in them. And now I'm putting chocolate spread in it. You know what, let's just mix it around. Feel free to try this at home, with the Nutella or not, either way it's good. Just remember, do not put the red icing in. Because, I mean, I don't know if it tastes good. I can't really taste it in there. But, you know, I'm just going to go quickly get the chocolate chips. I'll be right back. Ah. Chocolate chips. <laughs> Gotta mix it around. Perfect, perfect. Okay, so here you have it. Messed up cookie in a mug. I might have said brownie in a mug a couple times in this video, but whatever. Look, the the red icing has came into effect. Let's actually see if it's done okay. Yeah, I can't currently see any... Oh, that is so weird with the red icing. Yeah, um... 
can't currently see any chocolate chips, but I'm pretty sure it will still taste good without the chocolate chips. Let's try it out. I mean, it's pretty good, but at the same time, it is pretty bad. I mean, I don't really know what to say about it, but, um... Yeah, it's just pretty bad. 